Hi, my tubies. It's me, Sheila True Love, back here with you. Today, we're going to talk about something that is uh, very interesting. I have some to a topic here that I want us to um, <clears throat> discuss. I uh, got home early from work. They sent us home at 12 o'clock because it's a snowstorm. They say it's going to snow like seven to 10 inches. This is like, oh, crazy. But anyway, I got to come home early so I can be with you. Yes, it feels good. Anyway, here's our topic. Who's dealing with the problem in their relationship can be fixed. Okay, uh, I'm going to weigh in and sort it out. So in the audience is Kathy and her boyfriend, Jeffrey. Uh, Kathy, welcome to the show. So, Kathy, what's the issue? Jeffrey and I have been in a committed relationship for about three years now, and it was recently revealed that he had been having sex with various exes throughout our relationship. Um, he was in a previous long-term relationship where that behavior was acceptable, so he brought that same behavior into our relationship. And I want to know what advice can you give to Jeffrey to help him understand that when you're in a committed relationship, that is just unacceptable. First of all, I want to say thank you so much for being brave enough to come on National Network. I have my girls on here. My girls are on here and they're giving their viewpoint on this situation. My first response when I heard this woman say this is, why would you have to be here to ask Steve, this is Steve uh, Harvey's show, uh, asking Steve, what, how should we handle this situation? I want you to get Jeffrey to understand that understand there's that, it's not that, what? This discussion is over. Now, the type of females that you're going to hear from, except for one female here, because she's a nut job, if you want my view. But when it comes to my ebony women, my Hispanic sisters, oh yeah, oh yeah. <clears throat> and my Italian girl, uh-uh. They're not trying to hear none of this. Let's listen in. Um, I would like to speak to you, Jeffrey. What is it that you can't be faithful to this one beautiful woman next to you? Why not? I don't have a real answer for that. Um, Jeffrey, do you want to be in a relationship? Yes. Or would you like to have you an do. open relationship? Is this just a matter that you guys didn't have a conversation? We didn't have a conversation about it. Early on Did enough. you assume then that she was also in an open relationship? That she was having sex with other men? No, I didn't. So if she had, would that have been something that bothered you? Yes. Wow. Now tell me. Tell me, does that get your goat? If she was out there doing the same exact thing that he's doing, that wouldn't be acceptable to him. Did you hear what he said? I mean, did you think that this was an open relationship because somebody didn't tell me? You know? Now, the response that you hear from these females here, these are the type of women that I was raised with. These are the type of women who's a part of my circle. They think like this. Because all these other females out here, all these dysfunctional, schizophrenic, bipolar, alcoholics, drug addicts, no. They'll sit up here and pretend like this is okay, yeah, it's okay, every man cheats. Are you? These are the type of women that I was raised with. Uh, wow. Double so standards. What, wow. what is it you expect from her from this point forward? Do you expect her to accept this? Is this... I can't. Like, I can't. I can't. I'm not doing that anymore. That's not. You don't want to do that anymore. You're not going to do that anymore. <laughs> so you cut it all off. Yes. You stop the interactions and engage. Well, no. Well, I still have. They're still friends of mine, but that. Uh -uh. Don't. No. 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 <laughs> you know, sat up here, engaged in sexual relations with these females, and you're talking about oh, you cut cut it off, but they're still your friends. Do we even have to go there? Is, is this man? Uh, did he have a lobotomy? Like a part of his brain cut out? Do you see how my girls are responding? And even the audience is like, are you serious? Yeah, sure. They're just friends. I like the way Steve handled it. He says, you know what? I have friends too, honey. And I've never whipped my penis out with a slut with any of them. Uh, explain to me how these friendships will work. <laughs> There's no, it's no different from um, a friend of a buddy of mine. I mean, that's what they become. Uh, to me, they, they're just friends. Different. You crossed the line. They're just friends. Okay, okay now, Jeff, I have friends. Yes. Greg Calhoun, <laughs> Manny, Al, 
Lil John. I've never slept with any of them. <laughs> so Jeff, let me ask you something. Knowing that that bothers her, right? Why would you not just cut it all off? Just help her right there. That's what I mean. That's what I'm... I mean, isn't that just common sense? You know, I mean, you sat up here, and it's bad enough that you already uh, cheated on the lady. Um, and she's she's a very attractive lady, you know, and it's bad enough you did that. But then when she asks you to let these things go, you actually have the nerve to want to hang on to these. Mm -mm. That's why I like my circle of my girls, honey. This is the way we get down. How are you honoring her? Yeah, How are you honoring yeah. her? Give me that, Jeff. Knowing that ball, this like, why would you not cut it off? I can do that. But one of the relationships, well, no, no, one of the relationships is a lot more complicated than that. The, the relationship that I was in with before her was 15 years long. Mm -hmm. And they know my kids. They have a relationship with my kids separate from me. Mm -hmm. I can't tell my kids you can't see her no more. No. Is that That's not a conversation or a schedule that you can work out with your fiance right. so that she's comfortable when that happens? I can let her know when, when it's going on. I, I don't can, know. I can do it that. You don't have to be but there, though. You have her mother. No. Kathy? But she, but she, but her, their mother, her mother comes as well. No, but, but Kathy, I also feel like you have to love yourself <laughs> more than you love him. Yes. Thank you. That's how my girls think. You have to love yourself more than you love any uh, other person, not just another man, but anybody. You know, how could you honestly believe that you love someone when you don't even love yourself? That's not real. Come on, girls, let's have this. <laughs> I agree. By the way, right. I don't understand why this is even happening at your age. You are, you got a chin full of gray hairs. Be hmm. too old for this. <laughs> See, all right. what I'm uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. Check out if you're over 45 years old, your ass need to be heading into the barn. Yes. <laughs> it's true. If you men are over 45 years old, it's time for you to be going to the barn, sweetheart. Come on. It's time for you to settle down. How long does it take for people to grow up? He got a, a, a chin full of gray hairs. You have to see him. I think he's what, 60? Are you serious? And you still out here trying to play, play Mr. Player Player? <laughs> because really, yes! you don't even look the same out in the field. Yeah. Your stomach is on the ground. Your, your back got a dip in it because you're supposed to be in the barn. And let me tell you something. It's real nice in the barn, too. Yeah. It's warm in there. Yeah. They, they bring in hay in there. Somebody wash you off. Your old ass need to come on in the barn. Your old behind need to go sit in the barn with Steve. Steve will tell you he's 61. He's in the barn. Your gut is hanging out big as all hell. Or you're just walking around looking like a scarecrow if you got a flat stomach. And you're looking like a scarecrow. You walk like a broken down camel. Your back is all dented in. Yeah, it's time for the barn, babe. <laughs> and Jeffrey, here's the deal. You have three daughters. Three daughters. This example mm. that you're showing them. Take it in. Is it going to be okay when little Jeffries come along from somewhere and do your daughters Hello. the way you doing her? I bet it's not. I bet it ain't, man. Isn't that an excellent point that Steve brought out? Is it going to be okay for some guy to come along and treat your daughters this way? Is that going to be okay with you, Jeffrey? Or all these males out here who are sitting up here cheating on women, doing cutthroat, stabbing women in the back? What happens when it's happening to your daughters, your sisters, your mother? I bet it ain't. Jeffrey, what you should take out of just being here is you have two roads to travel on. You're either going to embrace the barn or you stay out in the field. Either way, you got to let Kathy know. Yeah, that's right. yeah. That's right. yeah. If you want to uh, embrace the barn or you want to still be out here playing the field 
looking like a fool, as old as you are, showing everyone that you have some type of arrested development or you have some type of mental illness. But like the, the, the lady said, you have got to let your partner know. Let her know. Personally, I think she's she's a foolish actually for staying with the guy. Because if it were me, you I, already, I, I don't have to tell you, you've seen my previous videos. You, you already know how I would handle this situation. That would have been done. He would have been done. Jeffrey, how, how old are you, man? 59. Yeah, see. 59. I'm, I'm 61. Why y'all shot? <laughs> I just told y'all his ass should have been in the barn. Didn't I tell you that? Are you 45? In the barn. In the barn. Let me ask you something. What I look like, what do I look like in the field? I'm 61 years old. I have children. I have daughters who I've walked down the aisle. I don't know if you thought about this, but you have lived longer probably than you have left. Of course. I think course. at this point of our life, it's very important how we leave this world. I don't want to have to get up to the gate and explain all these women over here. That's Mac. They got their hands on their hips at the gate. Jesus. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. Why are you talking to him? I don't need that. He shouldn't even be here. Right. <laughs> you got four women on the other side of the gate yeah. arguing with Jesus about your entry into the kingdom. I don't need that. I need everybody at that gate talking about, man, here comes Steve. Hey, man, just let me in, let me host a couple shows. Hey, Jeffrey, you got to set a bad example for your daughters. And above right. all else, you got to do it better for her. We'll be right back. Thank you, Kathy. But it's true. Don't you agree with me? This is one of the reasons why I get so upset with women who tolerate uh, uh, and, and stay with someone who cheats. Because what kind of example are you setting for your daughter? What kind of example are you setting for your son? You're letting your daughter, the message you're sending out to your daughter is that it's okay for men to dog you. It's okay for someone to be unfaithful and cheat on you and totally disrespect you. You're sending the message out to your son, this is how you're supposed to treat women. See, they'll stay. You dog women, baby. You don't respect these women. You know? So for this woman to stay with this character, I'm very disappointed with her. I hope after this show, she leaves his behind. I hope we have another, how you say, part two, and we come back, and she up jump and she left. Forget this nonsense. 59 years old and he's trying to act like he's 20 or 25 years old. Are you serious? He should be grateful that a woman is still willing to give him the time of day. Anyway, guys, I just had to share that with you on my coming home early. I think that you enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed making it. Anyway, leave your comments at the bottom and tell me what you think about women or men even who stay with people who are ch cheaters or people who are uh, cutthroat. Give me your viewpoint. I'm interested. Until next time, remember you always have a choice. You don't have to put up with none of this foolishness. You always have a choice. Choose wisely. Until next time, Sheila True Love. Deuces. <laughs>